We were asked to find five ordered pair solutions and graph. Let's begin by solving for y. We can isolate the variable term here to y by first subtracting x on both sides. 2y then will equal negative x plus 6. Next, we can isolate y here if we divide both sides by its coefficient, 2. That will leave us with y equals negative x over 2 plus 6 divided by 2. Remember, 2 is a common denominator, so we'll divide both of those terms by that. And we'll have y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. We'll use this equivalent form of the original equation to determine five ordered pair solutions. Here we can see y depends on x. So we could choose any values for x and then find the corresponding y values. Let's choose wisely. Since the coefficient here is a fraction where the denominator is 2, I'm going to choose some x values where the x values are multiples of 2. Let's start with negative 2, 0, 2, 4, and 6. When you substitute these in, you'll see we can avoid fractional uh, answers. When you substitute in negative 2, the 2's cancel here, and that leaves us with negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1 plus 3 leaves us with 4. When you substitute in 0, 0 times anything is 0, so negative 1 half times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. Substituting in 2, again, the 2 cancels. Negative 1 times 1 is just negative 1 plus 3, that leaves us with 2. Substituting in 4, Okay, negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2 plus 3. Corresponding y value there is 1. And then finally, substituting in 6, negative 1 half times 6 is negative 3 plus 3. Well, that gives us 0. So here's five ordered pairs to plot. Let's write them in set notation before we do that. Okay, here we've listed the five ordered pair solutions that we found. Now let's draw in a blank coordinate plane and plot the points. Here I'm going to choose the scale on the x-axis where each tick mark represents two units. and the y-axis, the scale where each tick mark is going to represent one unit. The scale on the x-axis need not be the same as the scale on the y-axis. So let's go ahead and plot our points. We have negative 2 comma 4, 0 comma 3, 2 comma 2, 4 comma 1, and 6 comma 0. Notice these points appear to line up in a line. They appear to be collinear. Let's connect the dots. Connecting the points with a straight edge, the graph here is complete.